I want to make a cask in the interest of aging my own whiskey. I worked out all of the math beforehand and found that 12 staves or side panels will give me a reasonable vessel that is close to a cylinder. I'm drawing the plan for a vessel that has a 4 inch ID and is about 12 inches tall. Each stave will have a width of an inch and a quarter at the widest end and two 15 degree miter cuts on either side. My hope is for about 2 liters of capacity but I think I'll end up with more. The key challenge here is that there can be no glue or fasteners in this project. I'll only use two stainless steel band plates. Each stave will get four dados, two on the outside, about two inches from the ends. These will receive the band clamps that will hold it all together. Two more go on the inside, roughly one inch from either end, to receive the top and bottom. I have this piece of four quarter white oak that I'll be using to make this. Since it's a small vessel, I don't need the thickness, so I'll be resawing the board down and then finishing the thickness to about 3 8. I have to cut the board to about 5 inches wide because of the resaw capacity in my bandsaw. I had almost no leftover from this project, so the 1 and 3 quarter bore feet worked out well. Actually, I had to remake the top and bottom because the first try I didn't get a good seal at all. I had just enough left to make two more ends. Here I have all the stock cut to final thickness and rough length. Two smaller pieces will be made round and used for the end.
Here I'm making an end chuck for my lathe to hold the rough cast. These are two 6x6 six six squares of 3 quarter birch plywood, and I'll be using the rubber feet that I use on my cutting board to grab the inside of the cast end. In recording this, I was winging it a little bit with this end chuck, but it worked out really well. I made a makeshift compass and used two brad nails to score a circle and then put pilot holes on the four corners. To get the cast to be round, I put it in the lathe to rough the outer surface to shape. Looking back on my process, I would rather do this step very last, if I do it at all. The only thing important to be round here is the groove for the band clamps. Doing this step last will avoid the misalignment between the staves and the final product, as you'll see at the end of the video.
Once everything is fitted, I'm going to be soaking the cask in water for 12 or so hours to get the wood to swell and seal all the small gaps. This is very similar to how a wood boat works. As I said before, my cask failed the leak test on the first go around and I had to make new end caps. I still have to bake and char the inside of the cask before it is ready, and there are additional details about getting raw whiskey to the right stage to be cast, and what to expect when it matures. I plan to do a second video on what I plan to use for the raw alcohol and what care will be required during and after the aging process as I figure it out. The internet has led me to believe that whiskey will age up to five times as fast in cask this small. If this works out, I'll make a handful more and put them up on a shelf for about 20 years or so to give them as gifts to my children when they come of age. If the internet is right, there should be about a hundred year old whiskey in there. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments below. And take a moment to subscribe as I'll be posting more videos soon. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also find me at my website, PolandsWoodworks.com. Thanks for watching.